As I was getting ready today, I thought to myself, if 10 years ago someone would have told me where I would be today, I would not have believed one aspect of what they told me. Now, I have been making videos since I was 14 years old. You can literally watch me grow up on the internet, but no one could have predicted who I would become or where I would be today. So my life is pretty much nowhere where I thought it would be. And a lot of people want to tell me that this is a bad thing, but I'm only 20. Although it's scary, I think starting over has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I'm officially moving out of my house, done being a child, time to adult. Honestly, I'm loving you all so much. I feel like a whole different person. I feel like I have to start my story here because I was 17 years old. I just moved out of my parents' house for the first time. I moved across the country after graduating high school early and I lived with my brother, my cousin, and my sister. And I feel like this time was just so unique and one of my favorite times in life because I truly was just me and getting to know who I was becoming. <laughs> Hit the T pose. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that was not bad. Put my fake nose ring in. So I actually. So I also kind of wanted to talk about why I decided to move home and all that. So here I am, 18 years old. I've already moved out and I moved back home. So I decided to just be a kid. I went to my senior prom, I walked at graduation, and then I went on a bunch of trips. I went to South Carolina, the Dominican, Florida. And then I decided to buy a house. I officially own this house. I am engaged. A few months later, I got engaged and started the wedding planning process. I got my dress, had my bachelorette party, and got married in January 2020. Now, I feel like this is where a lot of you guys actually hopped in and know what happened. But basically, I went through some of the hardest times of my entire life. I was so depressed. I was filled with anxiety all of the time. I had no direction, no self-worth. I didn't know what I was doing. I had thoughts of taking my own life, of self-harm, just as bad as it gets. And then I decided that the best thing I could do is to just start over somewhere. And I decided that I wanted to move to Utah. We are moving. We have to pack everything in our house in the next two and a half weeks, moved out, into an apartment by my cousins and things were going pretty good for a while oh hey <laughs> we're at our location we're up here in the mountains at this time i was still really struggling mentally and i felt like nothing was going good for me in life my youtube channel was struggling my marriage was struggling my mental health was struggling I tried so many different things. Fast forward to around February, me and my husband decided to separate. We decided to start the divorce process in this past April of 2021. Decided to separate permanently. This was another extreme low point, feeling so disappointed in myself, like a failure, like everything I did was a lie. I didn't know who I was anymore. I was extremely heartbroken, extremely hurt. I had no one. I really felt so alone. I felt like no one was really there for me. I felt pretty abandoned. My ex moved back to Missouri. I stayed in Utah for a couple months and I started to play a lot of games with my friends who I met online and then they kind of talked me into going to visit and potentially moving. So I went on a little trip to go visit them. 100% gonna be moving. My name's Abram. Juan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlie. And Joseph. Another fresh start. Currently, I'm sitting in front of everything I own. <laughs> so just to backtrack a little bit, from the time that I turned 19 until today, I have changed a lot. A lot of people say that this is a bad change, that they don't know who I am anymore and that I'm crazy, I've gone off the rails, I've done so many things that they can't agree with anymore. I'm not 17 anymore, I'm not 14 anymore. I'm not just like some little girl living at my parents' house. I've been through a lot, I've been through trauma, relationship and heartbreak with that, and a change in faith, which definitely changes a person. I went from being the most depressed, saddest I'd ever been, 
to the happiest I've ever been now, the most free I've ever felt. I've never felt more like myself than I do right now. I have an amazing group of friends. I've had a little fresh start here moving to Texas. My relationship with Jesus is so great right now. I'm so sure of who I am and where I belong and I have so much love for me, the people around me. I think everyone knew from a very young age that I was different. I was a little crazy and a little bit out there and maybe didn't fit in. But then I get put into a box and expected to be who everyone wanted me to be. And the second I step out of that box just a little bit and finally show my true self just a little bit, everyone tries to tear me down. So whenever I decide to completely change up my life, it wasn't a bad thing. It's not a negative. It wasn't me throwing away my life. It was me finally being myself. I'm finally expressing myself the way I've wanted to. I am finally listening to God. I am finally being Sydney. I'm not just a face on the internet. I'm not the 16 year old that a lot of you guys subscribe to me as. I am finally becoming myself. I think the saddest part about all of this is a lot of people have made me feel like I just threw my entire life away. Everything I worked for is now gone. I have no value anymore. People don't know who I am anymore. If those people would have just stayed with me and been supportive, then maybe they would know. Maybe they could have followed along with me. But people are scared of change and that is not something I have ever been scared of. And I'm finally putting my foot down. I'm finally being myself. And the thing is, after all this, and people want to make me feel like I threw it all away. I am still here. I did not listen to the thoughts in my head that told me not to be alive anymore. I once heard a quote that said, if it is between ending your life and ruining your life, then ruin it. And I listened to that. And personally, I don't think I ruined my life. I think my life is exactly where I've always wanted it to be. And although I've taken paths and steps and things have happened that I never imagined would have happened to me, I am so happy with where I'm at right now that I wouldn't want it any other way. So with all that being said, yeah, I have changed. You might not know who I am anymore. You are more than welcome to get to know me and grow with me and change with me. I believe in growing your entire life and changing your entire life. I'm only 20 years old. I still have 60, 70, 80 years, who knows, left on this earth. And I'm not gonna let the first 20 years of it define me. This past couple of years have been extremely difficult for me, but I'm ready for a fresh start. I'm ready to start over and I'm ready to be my most authentic self and go through some more self-discovery and self-learning. This is not the end, it is just the beginning. Happy New Year! <laughs> So this video was a lot different than videos I've made in the past. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!